Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Jamie the Crafty DIY Guy. Welcome back to my channel. Hey everybody, it's a new year and I am here with my very first Dollar Tree haul that I actually did myself in the new year. Um, this is my first Dollar Tree haul of 2022. I like to say that I haven't been to Dollar Tree since last year, which isn't totally, you know, a lie. But um, I've got a mix of um, stuff. It's not necessarily seasonal. There's a couple seasonal things, but um, just some really cool items that I found when I went to Dollar Tree. Um, definitely some things that I'm going to be doing some DIYs with. Really excited about some of those. And uh, before we get into all of this stuff, I have a whole cart full in front of me. Um, I want to say thank you guys. Thank you to all of my subscribers. Thank you to all of my friends out there. I appreciate all of the kind words over the holidays while I was uh, kind of dealing with the little monster. I am good. I am feeling fantastic. And um somewhat back to normal. I'm still getting really tired, um, like at the end of the day, which has kind of been good because I sleep really good. But um, other than that, hey, um, if you are a long-term subscriber, you know I call you guys my OGs. That just means my original subscribers. I appreciate you being here so, so much. Um, if you're brand new to the channel, my name is Jamie. I'm the crafty DIY guy. And uh, I'll share with you some stuff that I bought today at Dollar Tree. We're gonna start with a couple things on this desk. And then uh, I'm going to be filling up this desk because I have a um, cart full that I'm pulling out under the camera that you can't see right now. A um, cart full of stuff. First of all, I found the containers. These are those glass containers that people are freaking out over. <laughs> and um, I only found this size. I think this is the larger size because I think there's another one that's smaller. If there's another one that's larger... I'm going to freak out, but um, I was able to snag two of those. Um, I'm going to either put them in my kitchen and use those for some back stock for like teas or sweet and low spunda, something like that, or I'm going to be using them in my craft room, but they're really nice. They're, they're glass. The lids are kind of like a metal, uh, kind of like a tin or something. And, um, they screw on, which I think is really, really great. There is a, um, there's not a rubber seal, but they do screw on. I don't think they're airtight, but um, I think they'd be great for K-cups. They'd be good for all kinds of stuff. So I was super excited to find those. I wish I could have found the smaller one. Another thing I grabbed is hand sanitizer. This is the larger thing of hand sanitizer that's in the Dollar Tree Plus section. So it was $3. And uh, by the way, my store is still a dollar store. My, everything in my store is still a dollar. Yes, it's true. Um, dollar Tree is raising their prices to $1.25. I don't really um, have any thoughts on it one way or another, to be honest. Um, you know, there's going to be certain things there that aren't going to be worth $1.25. And there's going to be some things that are. So I'll figure it out when I get to it, I guess. Um Hand sanitizer, though. Yes, that's what this is. Um, hand sanitizer is also really good to keep in your craft room. If you get chalk paint, especially chalk paint, but if you get paint on your hands, um, chalk paint, acrylic paint, any kind of um, like uh, wax, the, the, um, the why, why can't I think of it? The Waverly Antiquing Wax, anything like this, regular hand sanitizer will take it off of your hands. I'm telling you, it's a great investment. And I just keep this in my paint cart, which is right next to my craft desk. And um, I use it for all kinds of things. All right, um, I grabbed one of these really big round mirrors. Look at all the stuff in my table in front of me. Uh, I grabbed one of these big round mirrors because I do have a DIY idea with it. I was pretty sure that I had some of these already at home, but um, I didn't want to. Um, I didn't want to take a chance. And um, as a matter of fact, I know I have some now. I know exactly where they are. They're in that cabinet right there. But um, anyway, I bought a new one. Oh, another thing. Um, of course, we're going to talk about receipts. We always talk about receipts. Um, this is actually from three different Dollar Trees. I really went big today and um, I was out and uh, I went to another store and then as I was driving around I went to a Dollar Tree and then I went to another Dollar Tree and then I went to another Dollar Tree. So receipts. 
If you're not using Fetch Rewards, definitely take advantage of Fetch Rewards. Fetch Rewards is a great way to earn money or earn points towards free gift cards. So every time you go shopping, you scan a receipt into the Fetch Rewards app and you earn points that you can then redeem for fun stuff like gift cards to go shopping with. So um, I have a code down below. There's a link down below for Fetch Rewards. So check it out if you haven't already done it. Um, it's one of my favorite things to do. Uh, okay, great stickers. Um, these gemstone design stickers, um, they had rainbows, they also had butterflies. What I like about this too is that it looks like it would be a bunch of individual stickers, but it's actually not. This is all one sticker. And then this is all one sticker. So you can see up here where it says it's a two piece. I think my finger's covering it, there it is. Where it's a two piece, so this is a two piece um, set, which means this is one piece, this is one piece. And um, I thought they were fun. I thought that they were really pretty and I'm gonna figure out something to use. I thought about putting them on a mirror, honestly, but um, I don't know, we'll see. Something to fun to have in the stash. Um, I have not seen the black canvases yet at my Dollar Tree, except for today. So um, I snagged two of these and these were actually from a Dollar Tree that I visited that I had not been to. And um, I was, I was pleasantly surprised to see these because at my regular Dollar Tree, which I did go to, they didn't have any of these. And um, I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do with them, but um, good to have on hand. We'll figure out something with them, I'm sure. Um, the other thing I grabbed was one of these plastic trays. Um, it's a smooth tray. It's got the sticker on the back. Um, if you saw a DIY project that Liz Fenwick DIY just recently did, um, she did kind of like a recap of her best kind of projects of 2021, I think it was. And uh, this was one of her projects that she did. She actually took this as the base and used this to make a rope tray out of it. It's fantastic. And then she used some... Um, painter's tape to tape it off and to spray paint it and make a really cool design on it. I don't know if I'm gonna do the design on it like she did, but I definitely want to make a tray like that for, or like she did for this, um, this. <laughs> so props to Liz for that idea. I think it was fantastic. And um, I just like the concept of this being the base because it's gonna keep it nice and solid. So. Check out Liz's video if you haven't seen it yet. Um, if you do, go check it out. Tell her I said hi. And um, it's it's a really cool video. Um, I bought a new hacksaw because I broke mine and um, I needed to have one in my craft room. I think this is a great little tool to have on hand for small um, DIY projects in your craft room. Oh. I really, really, really like it. So um, I snagged one of those. I saw this little house frame this um, love sign is kind of like the picture sticks up under that. But um, how precious is that? Um, I mean, the doggy is super, super cute. Don't tell Otis. But um, I thought that a little heart cut out was cute. Definitely could be something for Valentine's Day, um, a family photo. You could put paint over this and put something else besides love on there. I think that there's a lot of really cool, fun things that you can do with the DIY for that. And that's what I have planned. These I was excited to see. I'd seen these in every other color except for silver. And they're the mirrored tile adhesives. I did buy six packages of these. And um, I love the idea of this uh, kind of mosaic and being able to do a DIY with these. And I think I, think I have an idea for those. Um, so we'll see. Um, the other thing that I grabbed, and I grabbed it because of a haul that I watched over the holidays that Thrifty uh, Tiffany did. If you're not following Thrifty Tiffany, she's also another really great one to follow. She does, I think she does all hauls on her channel. Um, she She's a mom, she has teenagers, she's always going out and doing, you know, grocery shopping and, and Costco and Aldi and Dollar Tree is one of her places as well. And she talked about these um, vinegar bottles and um, 
don't they look like liquor bottles? That's exactly what she said. This looks like bourbon. This looks like some vodka. But this is actually white vinegar and this is apple cider vinegar. And the company is called Leaping Leopard. And um, I just loved the size of these. I thought it was a really generous amount. It's almost 24 ounces in each bottle. And uh, I like to have different vinegars for salad dressings and stuff. And the profile of these are going to be perfect in my little cabinet where I keep my spices and vinegars and oils and stuff. So props to Thrifty Tiffany. Again, if you don't follow Thrifty Tiffany, check her out and tell her in the comments that the Crafty DIY guy sent you. Because um, she has some fun, fun hauls and she finds some really good stuff. She's actually here in Georgia as well. I think she's in the Atlanta area. And uh, I would love to do a haul with her. I think that would be amazing because she's hilarious, y'all. Um, all right, the other things that I found were these really cute circular signs. Um, this one I thought was adorable, almost as is. It needs some love, but um, it says welcome. It has that faux kind of shiplap looking thing. It's got the green and then the little bow on the bottom, but hello, that is screaming for a DIY. So definitely have a DIY for that one. And then they had this one that says love, which again, that's just like those little MDF signs. And um, I'm thinking this could maybe come off of the front. I don't know, it looks pretty thin. So um, maybe, but that one was super cute. And then this one I thought was really, really cute. The bow again needs some help, but it says, hello, you can see it now. And um, I mean, so many cute ideas that you can do with that alone. You know, you could put a different bow up here. There's a lot of ideas that I have going on in my noggin right now for that. And um, just thought of another one too. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this, but I had been looking for this since before Christmas and finally found it. It's in the Crafter Square section and it's a wooden holder is what they call it. And I think it'd just be really nice to just paint it and stain it up. And uh, you know, who knows, maybe even do like some of these tiles in the bottom. It looks like, yeah, they would fit almost perfectly in there. And maybe like make a, like a cool just jewelry tray for your dresser or something, you know? Take your rings off, take your watch off, take your bracelet off, kind of like a, a valet or something. I think that it could be like a jewelry valet, not like a car valet. But um, I think that that's got a lot of really cool potential with it. So um, I was happy to find that. Um, the last thing I need is Dollar Tree signs. And uh, I bought some Dollar Tree signs, but they were ones that I had not seen before. And I think that they have a lot of DIY personality and especially, so I just dropped one, be right back. I'm back. Okay, um, this one says, being happy never goes out of style. It's got the galvanized back, which is super, super cute. And then this one says, family makes a house a home. But what I really loved about them is check this out. The other side is totally just galvanized plain. And you could easily make a sign with that. You could do a lot of stuff with that. And um, just that side alone. So I had to grab those because Again, I didn't have anything like that and I really wanted it. Um, this I got for my office. So you know my day job, I do a lot of work with reality TV stars and um, doing like interviews and stuff with um, mainly NBC Universal. But um, because I work with so many reality stars and I kind of have like a set here in the house where I'm doing these virtual interviews and stuff, I have this song that says reality called, so I hung up. <laughs> I thought it was hilarious and I thought it would be really funny just to put in my studio. So that is going in the studio. That is another Dollar Tree sign though. Uh, the other thing I grabbed, which I thought was super, super cute, is this wooden chalkboard, but it's kind of like a sandwich board because it's got the dual sides to it and it's got the little string here in the middle that you can, um, you know, stand it up. How cute would that be on a tiered tray? By the way, my tray behind me is sad right now. Um, it is not, it is not pretty at all. It just has a bunch of random stuff up there. And um, <laughs> I've even got my candle wax and stuff in front of my cricket that I have to put away. But um, yeah, that will be, um, 
it'll be a work in progress. <laughs> the other thing I grabbed was this great looking frame. I loved that frame. I kind of loved the, you know, farmhouse-esque kind of styling of it. And um, it's, it's not wood. It looks like it's wood. It's plastic. But I thought this could be a really easy DIY as well. So I'm going to work on something with that. Um, the other thing I grabbed were four of these wooden blocks from Crafter Square. And I grabbed four of these because I do have a DIY idea coming and I needed, I know I have at least two of these, but I needed at least four or five of them for the DIY that I'm doing. So um, that might give you a little hit maybe, Sora. But um, that is something I'm working on now and hopefully I can figure out how to make it work. And um, if I do, you'll see it on my channel. Um, I also grabbed one of these little crates. I like to have these on hand and um, I always kind of grab a couple of these when I can go out. I just grabbed one this time though. Um, the white nautical rope, not a huge fan of this. I'm really not, I just dropped something. Um, I'm not a big fan of this when you take it apart because it comes apart and frays really, really easily. However, if I'm using it all together, then I don't mind it so much. Also, Pro tip for you, if you are digging around, especially now if your Dollar Tree has gone up to $1.25, when you are looking through the nautical rope, look for the ones that say 11 feet because they have some that are six feet, they have some that are eight feet, and they have some that are 11 feet, and they're all a dollar. So you might as well get the longer ones if you can. So I got three of the 11 foot sizes because um, I think I'm gonna do the tray with this, I think. I may actually end up mixing some of this with regular nautical rope, which I do have plenty of here. So um, we'll see. Also, nautical rope is typically a better deal if you can find it like on Amazon or something like that because you get more for less money. You pay more up front, but then you don't have to, you know, you don't, you're not buying it as often. And the quality is better. I have a link to my Amazon store in my um, description box below. And um, there's some nautical rope in there that I buy quite often. And it, it's just a big spool and it's so much better than any other pricing that you can get at Dollar Tree. And you know, you gotta watch it because sometimes it's a little higher, sometimes it's on sale, sometimes it's a little lower. So, um, you know, check back on it often. Now I dropped one of these, but I bought one of the dark roll kind of wood grain um, contact paper and then I bought two of the lighter wood ones because I have a project idea in mind and um, I'm not sure which wood tone I want to go with so um, that's why I bought those and um, I do like using those a lot. Um, all right uh, Valentine's item. I bought these hearts. I thought the hearts looked very kind of farmhousey and I loved the uh, fact that now they're giving you eight instead of five um, these are perfect for a Valentine's garland or something like that. I've already done my Valentine's project, so I won't be doing Valentine's with it. But I thought for springtime, especially for some farmhousey, you know, modern farmhousey kind of style, that could be actually really, really cute in that. And you can spray paint it. You can paint it all different kinds of colors. You can make a lot of really cute stuff with it. Um, uh, there's something else in here that is Valentine's, but I think it's all buried. Um... Foam mounting tape, super glue makes a foam mounting tape. And uh, I don't think I have tried this yet. And uh, I saw it and wanted to get it. I really do like the um, the regular rolls of tape. This is kind of like pre-cut square. So we're gonna give this a try as well. Thought that could be fun for some DIYs. Um, I bought some of these universal tool hooks because I do have a DIY idea in mind for these that, um, is going to come out probably fairly soon. I also saw somebody, I think it was um, Liz Decals and more. I think it was her channel um, where she did a really cute DIY. Um, she was redoing her craft room and she had a, a kind of like a coat hanger that she made with these and she wrapped the top portion of the hook with rope, uh, with twine. And uh, it looked so good. And then she spray painted these. I think they were black. It was mounted on a wood board. And it looked really, really good and super, super high end. So um, 
props to Liz for that. And I may actually go with something very similar to that, Liz. And if I do, and if it was you, I will call you out and um, make sure that you get your credit for it. Um, the other thing I grabbed were two of these um, kind of um, clip holders. I do have a DIY idea with this and uh, I can't reach it because the thing I want to DIY with it is on the other side of the camera. But um, I wanted them in black. They didn't have them in black, so I bought them in the silver. And um, if this works out, I think that this could be really, really cool. So more to come there. I'm excited. I have a lot of really cool DIY ideas for like, um, you know, non, non holiday. As much as I like doing the holiday DIYs, I'm kind of happy to like not do how, you know, uh, holiday DIYs, at least not for a little while. Um, this jar I thought was beautiful. Doesn't it have almost kind of like a mercury glass kind of effect to it? I love it. It's got like a silvery kind of a tone to it. And um, it looks like some of those milk jugs that they've had at Dollar Tree before, but I don't remember one being this big before. And uh, I just thought it was beautiful, honestly. I think this would be really, really pretty. Um, I'm gonna give you a DIY idea here right now. White chalk paint, then take some light grit sandpaper and just go because you can see that this is textured. And then that would kind of peek through. I think that could be gorgeous and just so simple, put an arrangement in it. It's glass, so you could put real flowers in it if you wanted to. And uh, I think it's just a fun, I think it'd be a great project. Um, these were adorable. I have not seen these at my Dollar Tree. These are new to me. If they're new or not new to you, congrats to you for finding them first. But these like cutting boards, they're not actual cutting boards, they're signs, but I mean, how cute are these? If you're talking farmhouse or modern, you can do so much with these. And I definitely have a DIY idea to do with them. I think it would even be cute to take two of them like this and put some of those Dollar Tree wood planks in between and make a little toolbox because you've got the hole at the top for a dowel rod. How cute could that be? All right. Um, what else? Ooh, I always grab these whenever I can find them. Um, Tumbling Tower Blocks, the back Mac Daddy package, the big ones. Um, this is 72 blocks instead of the one that is half the size, also for a dollar. Why not get this if you can? Um, they had them in the plain like this, and then they had them in the two-tone in the larger package, and I had not seen the larger package in the two-tone. I typically just kind of work with these, so um, that's kind of why I went with this color. But um, anytime I see them when I'm out, I grab them. Um, this was super cute. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with it. It was kind of one of those things. It's got all my colors in it, so um, I liked it, but it's a home sticker. It's actually a sticker, but it's puffy. See how it's kind of like puffy? And um, it's got a cool like wood grain kind of a texture on it. So, I mean, even if you just put it on a wood sign or, you know, like that bluish kind of gray color. If you painted out something that was in, you know, a similar color, like, I don't know. I'm just, I was digging it. It, it was, it was speaking to me. So I grabbed it and um, wanted to, wanted to grab it. All right. If you've seen these before, these are the um, kind of hanging signs that they sell at Dollar Tree or hanging shelf rather. It kind of looks like that. But, um, and I bought two of those, um, and I bought them, even though I've had these before, and I've done DIYs with them before, um, I bought them because um, I thought I might be able to figure out something to do with them. But I got really excited when I saw the smaller ones, and it's a two-pack. So check that out. It's a two-pack. You get two of these cute little shelves for a dollar, for one dollar. And this is such a small profile item. Like you could easily hang this up just about anywhere. And I do have a DIY with this and I bought two of those. Um, I actually bought two of them because I have a friend that wants one. So, and uh, I've got two for her. All right, these are Valentine's Day, but I'm not gonna use these for Valentine's Day. Have you seen these little envelope signs? Um, I bought three of them because I am going to put them actually here in my craft room. And um, they're kind of like envelopes. And they come with this little paper heart that um, 
you know, you can put like, I guess like love notes or something like that in. But um, I have a DIY idea for this. And um, I think, I think it'll work. So more to come there. Um, I really did like those though. I thought that they were fun. This was something in the Dollar Tree Plus section. So this was $3. And um, they say it's a Valentine's craft, but it's a puzzle. See how it's like all unfinished, like puzzle pieces. Some of them are triangular, some of them are square. And um, I mean, how fun could that be? You could make somebody a puzzle. Like you could take a picture of yourself and put it on the puzzle or, um, you know, your pet or, um, I mean, you could do all kinds of stuff with it. And like some of the pieces are really big. Like this is a whole piece here. And then some of them are really small. So I just thought that was fun. I don't know. I'm going to figure out something to do with it. Um, a couple more things. Um, I bought a package of these uh, plastic bowls because I have a DIY idea with that. And then I bought one of these fluted bowls. I, I buy one of these all the time. And I always seem to have a DIY idea or something with them. Um, this I was really surprised to find at Dollar Tree and I was really surprised that um, it was only a dollar and it's a frosted glass vase but look how big it is like that's a big vase is it cracked no it's not cracked I thought it was cracked I'm gonna get mad but um I'm not a I'm not a huge fan of this kind of color but um I mean, it screams like paint me. <laughs> so that's probably what I'm going to do with it. But um, the size of it, the size of it was something that I really thought was kind of fun and cool. And um, I even liked the lip on it and uh, was thinking, you know, about some like uh, Mardi Gras beads glued all the way down and then spray paint it. Like there's a there's several different things that you can do with that. And uh, for a dollar, I was like, yeah. This is great. All right, so I had been looking for this scent. I have the other scents are actually on my tear tray in the back, but the, these little candles, this is the white clove. It smells really, really good. This entire line is really good. The spiced leather is one of them, and I forget what the other one is called, but um, the white clove was the only one that I couldn't find, and it's really, really yummy. It's very, very good smelling. All right, um, round candle mirrors. Bought these for a, um, I bought these actually just because I didn't have any more in my stash and wanted to kind of keep my stash going. And then uh, I bought, like, how many did I buy? Six of these? I thought about eight of them. I guess I bought six. Uh, the square ones. But these are so much bigger feeling than the other ones. Uh, the other ones seem to be smaller. I didn't think that the other ones were this big. So look, there's my, that's my fancy camera. I just used my phone. And um, I was super excited to see those and to be able to get enough to do this project that I have in mind. Um, floral foam, I never have floral foam. I'm always figuring out the most random stuff to make into floral foam. So I finally got some floral foam. Um, this I thought was super, super cool. Um, it's a tablet stand. So you can like, if you're on your desk or something, you can put your tablet on it and you can, you know, swipe and scroll and TikTok and watch YouTube videos and all the things. And um, it's not very sturdy. So I don't know how good it's gonna work because I feel like once you put a heavy tablet on there, it might not, um, it might not stand up too well. So maybe if I were to do this again, I would probably buy two of them and then just glue them together. But uh, I mean, for a buck, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, the other thing is these floor mats. These are these like welcome mats, these door mats. These are just the plain black ones. And then they're kind of grayish black on the back side. Um, I had been wanting to do some welcome mat or a DIY kind of similar. Um, Megan from Glue Guns and Roses always does really, really cool mats and uh, welcome mats and things. And uh, there's been a couple techniques and ideas that she's done that I'm like, hmm, I wanna try that too. So um, I'm gonna attempt a couple um, welcome mats. And of course, if I do them, Megan will get the shout out. Um, love Megan, she's one of my besties. And then 
so cute. Oh my God, so cute. These are the last two things. Um, this little RV succulent planter, like how stinking cute is that thing? How cute is that? If you have Dollar Tree succulents or tiered trays, it looks so, so cute. And the other thing that I'm just now seeing that I'm kind of mad about, because I wish I would have looked through the other ones, is um, they have a red truck and they have a blue truck and they also have the camper. I would love to find the red truck. I have a blue truck already that a subscriber sent me that's um, not one of these, it's actually a bigger one. And um, I used it for my Christmas setup, but um, I did manage to find the camper. So now I've got the RV and the camper. Um, I mean, how stinking cute are those? And um, they're gonna be kind of perfect for succulent. The tape that uh, Dollar Tree used to keep these intact is very, very strong. But I mean, come on. How cute is that? With a succulent in there on a tear tray or even like out on the front porch. And look, it's got the hole there. I'm wondering, oh my gosh, does the trailer hook up to this? If the trailer hooks up to this, y'all, I'm dead. I am dead. <gasps> it does. Look, the trailer's got a little hitch. By the way, how cute is that? It's got two doors. It's got a door over there, door over there. Oh, how cute is this? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, look. That's gonna be so cute on the front porch. Oh my God, for summer. I'm very excited about that. Ooh, look at that. Oh my gosh. Right now I have to find the red truck too. All right, guys, that is my haul. Um, I will link um, Liz Fenwick DIY. I will link, um, I think it was Liz Moore Decal and Moore, I think was her name. And um, of course, Megan from Glue Guns and Roses down below. That way you can check out their channels as well if you haven't checked them out. And of course, please tell them I said hello when you do stop by. Um, all right, first haul of 2022. I'm excited about it. And uh, I think I found some really good projects and I'm gonna start working on some DIY videos for you next. So take care, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>